everybody. Alex from SeemsGoodMagic.com here. We're back. We're doing a best of three Zendikar Rising draft. Our rare is Zagras, Thief of Heartbeats. This is a super strong card. Quick finisher. You don't even really have to play party to make it awesome. So, all right. Otherwise, we have Rockslide Sorcerer. Great wizard card. GOP, good, uh, solid for any red deck, but obviously at its best in... A landfall deck of some sort. Tangled Florahedron, good ramp card. Spell land. Stalker's a good finisher. Sky Dancer for rogues. Healer for clerics. Tactics. Playable removal. And that's about it in terms of exciting stuff here. But yeah, let's take Zagras and move on. All right. So follow up pick. Hmm. Strongest card is Cleric of Lifespawn by quite a bit. In black and red, we have playable stuff, but nothing I want to take. I'm, I'm kind of okay taking the Cleric of Lifespawn, seeing if Clerics is open. This card is tremendously strong. Like, I don't want to take a Champion or a Gloom Hunter. And you could still play Zagras in a Cleric of Lifespawn deck. Splash it off of a base camp or something. That's true. There's also an Ondu Inversion in here. Playable, not exciting spell land. Windrider Wizard is cool, but yeah. Let's take the Cleric. See what happens. All right. So... Shadow Stinger, which still does make uh, Zagras cheaper. And is a pretty good card, but not as good if you don't have rogues. Could take the Shepherd of Heroes. It's good. It's evasive. It gains life. Kind of makes sense. Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. Fissure Wizard, obviously good with the Zagras. Making it cheaper. But Shepherd is quite a bit better than Fissure Wizard. All right, I'll take a Shepherd. I'm fine with that. All right, Journey's quite good. Spikefield Hazard is cool. But you probably just take Journey and be happy. It's good. Good removal. Um, yeah, Hazard would be fine. Guide and Champion are both fine with Zagras, too. Like, I'm still hoping that I can play Zagras. We'll see if it happens. Here I can just take Stonework Pack Beast. It's kind of a perfect opportunity. Fixes for Zagras. Still is a cleric. Still makes this cheaper. Works with Shepherd. Works with Journey. It's actually like the perfect card for our deck. Quite a bit of red in here too. Worthy of noting. All right. So here we could take Farsight Adept. There's no clerics. But it draws cards, which is good for us. Otherwise, there's Palaka Predation, but this is one of the weaker spell lands, I think. Outrider would be fine, too, but I actually like Adept. 3 mana, 3-3 three, three that draws is pretty good. I mean, granted, your opponent gets to draw two. Needle Verge Pathway. Well, I think we just found a way to splash for Zagras. That's pretty sweet. We'll take that. Not even giving up much. A smite for sideboard, that's about it. <laughs> Omnath in here. If only... Honestly, I could probably take it. I'm not giving up anything for it. I don't care about any of this stuff. A silencer, maybe. We'll take it. I'll consider it. I'm actually considering it, believe it or not. Tactics looks good in here. We've already got a lot of diverse creature types. Are we going to be five color? That's pretty ambitious. That's one of the only ways you could possibly make Omnath work in here, though. Take a Cell Sword. I don't think it's particularly good, but. 
take it anyway to cut white. All right, take the smite. Probably it's more of a sideboard card. Take a mucklord, cut black. Actually, I'm taking the barrage here. Uh, well, this helps us play Omnath. <laughs> what else is there? There's really not that much in here. I mean, the problem with Omnath is you kind of need green to be your focus to make it work, but we're not giving up anything for it. Like, I could take a Jerboa, which is a fine card. But I think we'll take the Pathway. We're going to be playing a greedy deck here, but I don't know. I suppose any time you get the opportunity to try and play Omnath, you should probably take advantage of it. And who knows, maybe you guys want to see a five-color deck. If I got quite a few more Stonework Pack Beasts, I think that would be something that we could actually do. Uh, let's see. I feel like any double color is going to be kind of out the window. We may just want spell lands, because then we can justify playing more lands in our deck. It's true. Grack Maw. Another Adept. Hmm. I might just take the Adept. I feel like we need to draw a lot of cards in this deck to get things going. So Stalker is good with Party, but I, I feel like we're in a position where we can still focus on Black White. Like I could maybe just take Beckoning here. Could take the Stampede too. Spell Land, but we have good stuff to bring back with Blood Beckoning, so we'll take it. Not entirely sure Omnath's um, going to work out. So we can take another add up. We can take the Gloom Hunter here, which is kind of fine. Doesn't really have synergy with our best cards, but it's good early, good late. Otherwise, we could take a Felidar or another Adept. I kind of like it. Gloom Hunter, to be honest. Okay. Blight Priest is good. We've already got Cleric of Life Spawn for the synergy. Another Adept. Spark Mage is cool. But let's take the Blight Priest. So, I can take a Protector, I can take a Kite Sail. Kite Sail is pretty good. Protector is basically just good with Cleric of Life's Bond. I think we'll take a Kite Sail. Flying over top. I feel like wins games. I think Banneret would be fine here too. So we can take the Binding now. And probably just accept that we're Black White Splash Red. All right. Take a blood price, I guess. If we end up with more life gain, it's playable. Um, where do you have a smite? I don't really need a dauntless unity, but I guess we'll take it. All right, got this off consumption. I'll take it. I think Omnath's out. It was cool. Would have been nice, but not working out. And that's okay. Wait, didn't I take you out? I uh, got the Felidar. It's actually nice. Or we could take Disenchant for sideboard. But I, you know what? Felidar is just a strong card on its own. We'll take it. A lot of add-ups. Last pick Banneret. Well, Nahiri. 
I mean, we are already splashing red. We could just take the Nahiri, but I probably just want this Fearless Fledgling. Kabir Takedown would be good too. So would Blood Priest. So many good cards in here, but Fledgling just wins the game on its own. It's incredibly strong. Even without any of our synergies, it just it wins the game if they don't have an answer for it. So I think we'll take it. Would be nice to get the takedown, particularly since we don't have much removal. But that's okay. Tazri, this card's awesome. Who wouldn't want that card? Uh, it's a feed the swarm in here, which is cool. But yeah, we just easily take Tazri here. Really strong card. Wow, another Fledgling. Yeah, we just take it over Celebrant. Celebrant's obviously good in here because of Blight Priest and all the Cleric of Life Spawned stuff, but I'm not going to pass a Fledgling. Curie's kind of cool. I don't think we have any. We do have one equipment, but it's just such an easy Fledgling there. What the? Pass them all the Skyclaves pick four? Whoa. Our deck just got, like, incredible in this pack. Blood Priest, great pickup for us. Buys time. Drains. I think the Allied Assault would have been fine, too. So Blood Beckoning is cool because we have good creatures to bring back. We do already have one. But we have a lot of good creatures to bring back. I might be okay taking a second one, honestly. It's also a silencer, which is playable. Removal. I'm going to take a beckoning. I don't think we need the blood price. Nor do I think we have enough life gain for it. All right. Celebrant. Maybe we do now, but... No biggie, Celebrant. Going to buy us time. So we can win the game in the mid to late. You know, the really awesome thing about Farsight Adept in this deck is our average top deck has got to be better than most people's average top deck with the fact that we have like Zagras, we've got Tazri, we've got Maul of the Skyclaves, Cleric of Lifespawn, like our average draw is just got to be way better than our opponents. All right, I'm going to take a Blood Priest. I like it more than the Healer. Even without the Vigilance, just draining your opponent is so good. Could take another Tactics. I mean, we have enough creature diversity, I suppose, to do that, but... Stampede's just like a free card. We have more than enough cards in our deck. Another Celebrant. I'm going to take it over the Healer. None of these cards matter. Last pick. Playable card. Well, this deck's sweet. This time I am going to cut the Bob Ross lands. I need to see what we're working with here. So, we're probably 18 lands. Thought we had more spell lands for some reason. But, I guess not. So, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12... Probably make six cuts. Um, I feel like Cell Sword can go. It's not bad. It's just not necessary for us. Uh, I feel like Felidar might be able to go. Like I said, our average card draw is better than our opponents, which makes me like Adept a lot in this deck. With all of these bombs... Us drawing a card, on average, probably going to be better than our opponent drawing a card. Hmm. If I cut tactics, how much removal do I have? I have a binding... A journey. And that's it. 
Do we have enough creature diversity to play the tactics? I think we do. So it's probably it's probably four creatures that I cut. It might just be the protector. Like it's cool. It does have synergy with like life bond. I don't care enough to do it though. It's not gonna. It's it's certainly the weakest card. Kite sail actually seems kind of pointless when you have a maul of the skyclaves, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. Okay. Simple enough. So two more cards. We can run 18 lands. I'm actually at a bit of a loss here. I could see maybe cutting the banneret. It's good synergy with Blood Priest, but it's not that important. It does make our tactics better, I guess. It makes this cheaper. <laughs> maybe four adepts is a bit excessive. So this is 17 lands. Kind of said I wanted to do 18. And Zagras Splash is totally worth it. Extra Landfall doesn't hurt too much either when you're running Fledglings. And you've got Blood Beckonings to get extra value. Maybe I just cut another adept. This is fine. I like this. It's a, obviously a very good deck. How many clerics did we actually end up with? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's actually a decent amount. Plus, Cleric of Life's Bond is just direct synergy with Silibrant. You don't even need clerics. You have these two out, you just do nasty stuff. Yeah, this deck is this deck is very good. So more white than black. Um no double black. No, that's not true. This is double black, technically. One double white though. We'll just do I think I agree with the two mountains probably. So that leaves me space for, so this is three red. And three white right now. So. Let's see if I did. Speed. I did this, it'd be eight. Could do eight, eight. If I do the white here, this is eight white, three red, eight black. We do have more white than black though. And this I guess is re-equip double white. I'm kind of still okay just doing it like this. Another option is to not splash Zagras, but I like it too much. And we got the fixer and we got the pathway, so it feels kind of worth it to do it. All right. Well, I'm satisfied. We'll run it like this. We'll see you around one. All right. We'll play first. It's a keep. Hopefully we rip a land and we can just go adept into Maul, which is pretty strong. Opponent mauled the five, which is hopefully helpful. Oh, 
That was a good rip. So now we can go. I've actually got some options here. I think we actually go adept. We could do the mall now, but we have way more value in our hand. Way more potential to win uh, in the late game. So for now, let's. We don't need to aggro them down. We've got more cards. We have removal. Alright. That was a good rip. So, we got three lands up. Let's just play a land. I guess we go for it. It's not the best use of mana, but nothing really is, so this is fine. I make this trade with the banner in. My cards get more expensive, but I don't think it matters. And banner it can pump now, so that's fine with me. It also makes this thing weaker. I guess I don't need to show them I'm splashing. Uh, uh, better use of mana is the journey but journey deals with more things so i like this more we also i think have the mana to go tazri into journey maybe not So got game one. They did mull to five, though. They actually did pretty good on a mull to five. Uh, they look like a pretty solid-looking cleric deck. Actual sideboard cards we have. Smite, which deals with basically just a Scion of the Swarm. And that's probably about it. So I think we'll just run her back. All right, we've got a good keep here. Um. We actually go banner it. Gives us a double drain. It doesn't make the best use of mana, but it gives us a double drain off of uh, Blood Priest. Not to mention it makes our stuff cheaper. Uh, yeah, I guess we can go consumption here. Blood Priest.
See if they have the Sky Dancer, maybe. Kind of seems like they do. Could also be Practice Tactics. I'm alright with that. We're going to take the two. Oh, they didn't attack. Interesting. Well, I'm going to play Tazri. Now I'm going to attack. Alright. A four mana, four six with upside, huh? Seems pretty good. Sure. Attacking, no less, huh? I think we'll just play the red land now. The reason I did that is in case they have uh, Mind Drain. I want to be able to... Oh, that's a good rep. So... I think we just kick this. Makes the best use of mana. And... Uh, Sets me up for a journey to oblivion on the shepherd. Hmm. All right, well, happy enough they're attacking. That was a good rip. So let's do pack beast. Auto tap here. There we go.
That was a good rip. Alright. We will see you in round two. Alright, round two we'll play first. Uh, I guess technically this is a keep because of the pack beast. Can fix for our white mana. If they had practiced tactics there, I would have just blood beckoning and brought it back. Replayed it. I'm just going to get this back now. Technically, I could have paid four to get them both back or get the pack beast back to cast the Zagras, but right now I kind of feel like we need... We need to just be able to cast cards here. So... Um... Maximal life gain is Cleric of Lifespawn first. So now we just need to journey, journey stuff here. Mm, we're still okay. But we probably need to trade now, I guess. Binding a flyer. I don't really want to, but
Oh, I need to attack with everything there. Sandbagging land for uh, Fearless Fledgling, I guess. one like I could play that in attack it's not lethal and they kill us on crackback so I don't need to show them that um, so smite deals with this if it's growing highborn vampire bunch of kind of icky stuff that I don't really care about they have a few flyers kite sail could be an option but I feel like it's really not that good because we already have maul which is better Uh, I think we run it back then. All signs point to run it back. Yeah, we'll play first. Pretty, pretty weak hand, I'm not gonna lie, but I feel like I guess we keep. Hope we rip some spells. I mean, I guess one of the nice things about keeping this hand is that I don't have to play any of my spell lands. So they potentially can do stuff later if I, you know, solely just rip lands for a little while. I don't want to attack there if they play a cleric. Because I don't want them to just gain life and have a vigilance dude. They don't even get anything super special here, which is nice. I'd probably go for the consumption too. I think that makes the most sense. Oh, Blood Beckoning is actually a, kind of a good rip. Let's do Blood Priest first. Um, all right. I could attack with the Blood Priest, the Blood Priest 2, rather. I think that's reasonable to do, but I'm not going to. Well, one of those planes actually would have been decently useful there. All right, so uh, we can make the trade with the healer and then I guess we have blood beckoning. Mm, I guess that's okay too. So if they have the kill spell for Zagras, we can just bring it back, which is nice. Hmm.
This forces them to block. And this is a, yeah, this is okay. I don't have the black to bring back the Blood Priest and play it, so I probably just bring it back. And I'm actually sandbagging the mountain in case they have Mind Drain. So we got game two. I think our deck has more goodies than theirs. It's hard for our deck to not have more goodies than most decks, I would think. Double Fledgling, Maul, Tazri, Zagras. Like, we've got it all. We just need to be able to survive long enough. I guess we don't have any disenchants out of sideboard, which would be helpful against the Nihiri's Binding. Obviously a good hand here. So we'll go Cleric into Fledgling Land. Yeah, we can actually go Cleric into Fledgling Land Banneret. Next turn, I think we drop the Adept to... We can just get them both back with Blood Beckoning now, which is insane. Makes the best use of mana, too. Uh, might be worth it. Like, I could have dropped the Adept there, but uh, this seems better to me. Next turn, potential cleric into celebrant. Um, just go cleric, fledgling, attack, pass. Main phase sky dancer. That's a weird one. I'm all the Skyclaves now, too. <laughs> it's just mean. Uh, actually, I guess just these two. Maybe I should have stuck it on the Cleric. No kidding. It's unexpected. They have another tactics? <laughs> Looks like it.
All right, sweet. We will see you for round three. All right, we're on to the final round here. Got to keep this hand. So I think we actually play the fledgling first. Miss the land draw, we'll just play this and pass. And I actually don't want to block the squid. Because I kind of need the uh, mana fixing right now. In case I rip another uh, planes. Although if I rip another planes, maybe I just play the celebrant. That's true. Huh, okay. Maybe I can trade then. Yeah, I think we do, actually. After careful consideration. Hmm. Actually, it's a problem. Go celebrant for now. Guess we just play the Blight Priest and pass. Um, we just need to rip some land so I can trade my Blight Priest for their Geyser Mage and just wait till we get some lands. Get this Tazri online. Get Blood Beckoning online at some point. Block here. Tactics, huh? Kind of a odd deck. <laughs> Never seen anything like that before. Um, so I can play Banner at plus Gloom Hunter. Gain four life. Can play Gloom Hunter. We need the Banneret in order for the tactics to kill something. Or I can play the Adept. I'll probably just play Adept. Makes the best use of mana. I don't have to leave up tactics. 
I still gain life. And I got the land I wanted. And now we can get in for three flying. And pass. One of the weirdest decks I've seen in the format. Multiple instances of Strength of Solidarity and Scale the Heights. Seems like they have like chilling trap or something. Maybe. Maybe they were just choosing the blocking order though. I guess I didn't need to show them the, the red mana. Uh, okay. I like how we still have lethal too. How awesome is that? All right, so main deck, uh, Broken Wings is actually good against this. There's been a couple commenters that have told me main deck uh, Broken Wings is totally fine in this format, but my question is, how do you have space for that? How do you ever have space for this card? in your main deck. I would argue if you have space for this in your main deck, your main deck's got some problems. Uh, so I feel like we really should be able to beat our opponent. They're playing the Strength of Solidarity, Scale the Heights, Dauntless Survivor dot deck, and we are doing Rares and Mythics dot deck, so I feel like we've got the advantage here. And our average card is most likely better than theirs. Oh yeah. Great hand. We get a turn three. Turn three Tazri? Wow. Turn three, four, six with upside. Turn three, Tazri. Turn four. I guess we can't use the ability until turn five. Not that it's a huge deal. Guess I could have just played the mountain there. Oh. 
not like they don't know about it already. They can't use this, right? No. Next turn. All right, so we ended up going 3-0. Like I said, this deck was really, really strong. I'm sure plenty of people would argue, or at least a few people would argue, don't splash for Zagras, but I think Zagras is worth the splash. Very, very strong card. All right, thanks for tuning in, folks. We'll see you for the next one.